You may have noticed a moment ago when we were looking at the source code for the DCMI metadata terms, you may have noticed this bit right here. DC terms colon description. Now, I blew right by that and didn't mention it at all, but that is worth discussing because it is just the tip of the iceberg. Right? Let's look at the metadata terms document again. Now, description is not one of the 15 elements of Dublin Core, but it is, if I can find it, here it is, it is one of the lengthy list of terms, right? So what I showed you before was if you want to use the 15 terms, the syntax is DC colon element name. But what if you want to use qualified Dublin Core? What if you want to use these terms? So let me show you what that would look like. Now, let's say that instead of creating a metadata record for the Mona Lisa, you wanted to, for example, create a lesson plan about the Mona Lisa. Now, remember that we've looked at um, the work of the education community to bring terms into the, the term list for Dublin Core. So we have a few that are that are built in here. So the subject of our lesson plan is Mona Lisa and we can use DC colon subject because the subject element out of the main 15 elements works perfectly well here if we're talking about a lesson plan about the Mona Lisa. But now we get into education level and the syntax here is DC terms colon and then the term, right? So it's instead of DC colon, it's simply DC terms colon and then whatever the term or element is. And then you have an open tag and a closed tag just like before and then the value in this case, second grade, I just chose arbitrarily um, for the education level of the intended audience. You could use additional terms, DC terms, instructional method, say, experiential learning. Now I know next to nothing about art education, maybe experiential learning wouldn't be appropriate for a lesson plan about the Mona Lisa, but that's really not the point. The point is that the syntax remains the same. DC terms is part of, and let's say this lesson plan is part of a larger curriculum, you'd provide, say, the URL for that curriculum. At the top of this document, we have the same block that we always have declaring namespaces, right? We declare the XML namespace, we declare the Dublin Core namespace, which is our friend, the persistent URL, which resolves to the uh, metadata terms document. And then you declare the DC terms namespace, which has a different persistent URL, but in fact, if you follow that, resolves to exactly the same document because that document has not only the 15 elements, but the, 15, the, the longer list of terms in it. So if you want to use the extended set of Dublin Core terms, this is how it's done. DC terms colon term, and you must declare the terms namespace, even though that's the same file that you declared before just for the Dublin Core elements. But what if you want to go beyond this and let's say make up your very own metadata schema. So let's say I've made up my own metadata schema and I've called it the Jeffrey Pomerantz metadata schema. Well, first of all, 
I will have had to create my own DTD for that metadata schema backed up by its own namespace. So here I declare the Jeffrey Pomerantz namespace and here's the URL where it lives, right? And then let's say I'm still talking about the Mona Lisa. So Dublin core subject Mona Lisa still applies, but I've created some of the same completely ridiculous elements that I had in the example in the previous unit where I'm using hair color and moon phase because why not? Um, and the syntax remains the same. Instead of DC colon and then your element, I have the JP elements. So the syntax is the same that you use the prefix and then the element, the prefix and the element. And you have the open tag, the close tag, and the value in the middle. And you have to declare the namespace where the definitions of hair color and moon phase in the Jeffrey Pomerantz metadata schema, where those elements are defined out there on the web somewhere, I would have to have that namespace document living at some URL.